What's going on miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. Today, as you can see behind me, is my solar panel setup for my crypto mining trailer that's actually over there. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the plans I have coming up and things I'm going to be doing in the upcoming week. So if you guys are into that, let's do it. All right guys, here we are. This is the crypto mining trailer. So as you can see, I moved things around a little bit. We got a uh, nice sticker wall. Uh, I got my laptop all set up in case I need to do any work while I'm in here. But the real thing we're gonna go over today is the grow watt inverter. So this grow watt inverter can handle up to 1900 watts of solar power max capacity. Now to add more than two strings, you guys may have seen in the old video or even in the beginning of this one, I have two sets of panels all the way out there. That is four panels each, they're each 400 watts. And when you're combining them in series and then in parallel, you don't wanna do that for more than two sets of uh, runs basically. So what I got was a combiner box, which is right here. Now this is something that will safely put more than two strands of solar panels together. And you guys might notice that I have Four more solar panels there's two in each pack right here and we're going to be wiring everything up into this eventually i'm not going to do it in this video i'll do a step by step on what's going on with inside this thing when uh, i am actually getting down and dirty with it but that's the plan for this now what i have going on today is i used to have this row watt inverter actually powering up my exhaust fans that are in here but seeing as all of this stuff is off for the time being. I only have my iPolo running and the Jazz Miner running. I don't have any of these fans on. And again, these fans were running off of the Grow Watt itself, and it was working great. I also do have supplemental power right here for the Grow Watt inverter because it does allow it to take 120 volts. As you can see, there is grid power on the top, solar power on the bottom, and the batteries are fully charged, so it's just whatever, there's no power draw on this unit at the time of recording. So my plan here is to take this iPolo, seeing as this iPolo can actually run on 120 volts and not just 240 like the Jazz Miner, and it's only under 300 watts, it was like 233 I believe in that video. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link above, go check it out. But we're gonna try to convert this plug right here that came with the iPolo, it's a European plug, by C13, I'm going to cut the European end off. And if you guys might notice, I used to have a big power strip here that I got from Matt Electron. That unit actually did not end up working. So I cut the cord off it. And you know, because I wanted to keep the drop meter that I have here, I am going to end up wiring some plugs myself right here on the wall. But for the time being, I'm gonna strip this wire. I'm gonna cut this end off. And we're going to basically liven up this end and try to run the iPolo off of solar power in this video. All right, there we go. I cut off the end and I wired everything together. You guys can kind of see, obviously, green to green. We have blue to the white and black to the brown. That is uh, European wires, obviously. Now this thing's livened up. I have the end plugged in. So. Let's get the iPolo and plug it in. I have the ethernet cable right here that I just pulled from this other side. So let's do that. Gonna just unplug the iPolo. Now she's off and I can put this ethernet cable back down where it belongs in that rig. It's my A2000 rig. And I actually might be turning on that A2000 real soon. All right, iPolo, let's do it. And I was thinking, actually, the main reason I brought this rack in here was because if I end up adding more of these mini miners, like the iPolo or some more mini Doge miners um, at a later date, obviously, I will uh, then be able to just stack them all right here on the shelf. So that's the plan anyways. Now let's uh, plug this thing in and see if it works or if uh, something blows up. I got this guy, has to go into this guy. All right, she's firing up. That's all I can ask for. And let's see, um, let's go to here, 45 watts. Cool, 
So we're at 45 watts being pulled right now. This is why I wanted the drock meter in here and I, I stole this cord from that uh, big PDU because I wanted to be able to manage the wattage and obviously see what I'm getting from the actual solar system itself. All right, cool, let me get this thing ramped up and then we'll check the actual uh, full bore wattage here. All right, check it out. 251 watts, which is kind of interesting. Now, this unit, if you guys watched that iPolo video that I actually made, would only pull 233 or so watts. So I just rounded it off to 235 in that video, but it would, or it's supposed to get 280 mega hash for 270 watts and this thing would only get 250 to 260 mega hash at 233 watts so now that it's at 250 i'm kind of interested to see if this thing's pulling more hash rate in the dashboard so let's get inside and just check that but either way i'm super interested if this is actually going to work correctly all the time now as you can see the solar and the actual grid are not on at this current moment it is just being fed solely through the battery still excellent all right let's get inside i want to check the hash rate on this unit and then guys next week we'll be doing some solar stuff that's some more cables i got some more panels as you guys already know and i just hung the combiner box while we were waiting Again, this thing is actually made to go outside. It does have a weatherproof box. So if you guys want a full walkthrough on how to wire this stuff, let me know because we're gonna be learning together. I'll uh, do like a slow video and actually walk through the entire thing as well as how I wired my batteries and all that once again. So let's get inside, check this thing out. All right guys, things didn't go as planned. So last night I actually was recording the uh, mining round table with Hobbyist Miner and the Mining King and uh, this unit i did check on the actual pool to see if the ipolo over here was getting more hash rate and it wasn't so i came out here a little later and uh yeah this unit was off and that is because the batteries got drained so currently i have them going on a uh, trickle charger right now as you can see i have the top one being charged i already did the bottom one now it's testing with this voltage meter right around 11 volts so once this thing gets to 12 and then this thing can power up together and be over 24 volts this unit will kick back on there is a setting that i need to change in this i was actually reading the manual last night and i think something's off because if you guys remember looking at the screen here it was only feeding from the batteries it never actually fed back into the batteries to charge them which is weird with the actual 120 volt coming in or the solar coming in so there is a setting that's off either way i'm gonna figure this out and we're gonna get it situated and i will be into that the main reason of me obviously coming back here and talking to you guys the voltage that this was pulling it was right around 250 or so at this drock meter and at the uh, grow watt here is probably because it's running off 120 volt instead of 240 volt the resistance is actually higher the less the voltage there is so that's the reason for it in my mind it wasn't pulling any extra hash over at the pool so i guess that's the moral of the story but you guys are fantastic stay tuned for more solar stuff this week i'm sorry i couldn't dive into anything really crazy it's just been a nuts week at work so guys appreciate you all and i'll catch you guys real soon peace out